to Darvin before the game, and he's just talking, talking about he's not worried about a little shooting slump or anything like that. For me? Yeah, for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you're, so your minutes have been up, and you were telling us the other day about how you don't feel athletic relative to some of the guys you play against. Just wonder what the balance of kind of how much it's been taken physically and as you keep getting stronger and, you know, as you're so young in your career versus the mental part of just breaking out of the shooting slump. Yeah, I mean, uh, the past, I don't know, four days or whatever, I've been super frustrated with myself uh, just because I hold myself to, you know, a high standard. Uh, I truthfully believe every ball I shoot should go in. Um, obviously, that's not the nature of the sport. But, uh, you know, everybody on the team and coaching staff just kept kept preaching to me just to stay with it. Uh, you miss shots, you have games like that. I was talking to Russ uh after the the Atlanta game and he told me he remembers I think he said they were he was playing Memphis uh and I think he went 0 for 11 from the field um and you know just you know hearing hearing it from someone that's you know as successful as him you know helped me a lot too just because you know it's it's life stuff happens uh you got to push through um yeah, it's a long season, you know, this this ups and downs. Um, obviously, that's that's what sports is. As you uh, mentioned it on our walk in here, that album we probably caught from the path to get 30 in the game. It, it was Dennis, right? Dennis? Dennis? Okay. Yeah, okay. Just uh, the type of things he's still doing, just turned 38. What's it like for you to, to experience that first day? Oh, it's incredible. I mean, for someone that I've mentioned a lot, that's not the most athletic person in the world, um, to see him at his age, like you said, just turned 38, um, the stuff that he does, the way that he, you know, moves and, you know, the contact that he he endures in a full game, um, and just the way that his his body's held up this whole time uh, is super impressive. Um, but it's it's a testament to what he does on a daily basis. Uh, he's always the first one in the training room, first one, you know, taking care of his body, and then also uh, getting the work in as well. Um, so, uh, to say the least, I'm happy to be on his team. Austin, uh, pregame Darvin said something to us. He was talking about your game in Atlanta. He mentioned that he liked that, that you were still, for the most part, getting shots up the shots that you were getting up. I think maybe one he didn't like, or maybe two. There's well, probably a couple. <laughs> but, I, I mean, how important is that just to, like, I mean, it's very shot quality and stuff like that, just to kind of, even if it's not, like, to keep shooting? Yeah. And, and, and is that a skill, isn't it, right? but like a mental, a mental thing that you have to just have, like, that short-term memory? Yeah, for, for sure. I mean, for the most part, like you said, uh, I went back and watched, you know, all my shots, and the majority of them were good shots. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't go in, um, but it wasn't like I was taking shots and going to the bench and coaching staff and players were like, why are you shooting that? It was, you know, good shot. Uh, you know, continue to make the right play. If you're open, shoot it again. Um, like you said, there was a couple that probably – people were thinking that but uh like i said it's it's basketball nobody's perfect everybody goes through these games um you just gotta and look forward uh i mean if you dwell on it you're gonna kind of stick you know kind of into that you know energy that that brings you know as you know you're not playing well uh, i was actually talking with phil handy this morning and he was, he was talking about just energy and uh you know, mindset and, and controlling, you know, that type of part of it. Because I've been, you know, like I said, super frustrated the last four days. Um, and his his big message to me was just, you know, let it all go. You know, go back to being who you are, you know, joking around, messing around, having a good time, and, you know, things will happen. Um, actually, I want to ask about your place, the, the, the steal for the jumper before halftime. So what? What would you read on that? Uh, honestly, I thought that he was going to throw it. I think it was Gordon Hayward going down the sideline. But as soon as I seen him going to make the pass short, I was right behind. I think Gordon Hayward uh, is who it was. I don't think whoever passed it in could see me. So 
he didn't throw it super hard, so uh, I was able to get there in time. And, you know, honestly, I was thinking about throwing the lob to Brian, but I didn't know if we had enough time, so I shot it. And unfortunately, it went in. Uh, did you finish this road trip 3-2 um, after? Since AD's been in here, you guys have been kind of scrapping. How much did you need? Uh, it was very important. You know, obviously you go into every game wanting to win. Um, but didn't start off great in uh, Dallas uh, the second half. They, you know, they made adjustments and can come out on fire. Um, but after that, you know, Miami was Miami. But I feel like we've actually had uh, really good stretches even in those games that, that we can build on. Um, and then the three wins are good wins. Uh, the one in Atlanta was really good and, and tonight as well. The, I mean, uh, this, the group didn't f uh, fold. You know, they were down 20 at a couple points and, you know, could have folded and, and just chalked it up and went to the next one. But they kept fighting, cut it to, I think, six uh, late in the game. So uh, just having those reps late in game uh, in, in situations where you're going to be in multiple times throughout the year is, is very uh, key. Any more questions, Bob? Thank you. Thank you all.